Okay, looks like we're all ready to go. Here's what the finished product looks like. Sorry for the poor lighting, but it's getting dark outside. But yeah, you got your little thingamabob here. You just put all your fruits and vegetables in there, push it down, and this little doohickey here grinds them up. Then the pulp, I guess, collects around the inside, and then juice comes into there. Simple. All right, let me clear off the desk, because as you can see, there's lots of stuff on here. So let's clear it off. So, you know, to prevent splatter and other safety hazards. So, give me just a sec. The book that I got for uh, juicing and recipes and stuff is Juicing for Life by Sherry Calbaum. And uh, it just has a real basic amount of recipes and things like that. It, it's pretty interesting. So, I think we'll start off with, uh, let's see. Let's just do something simple to start off with. Just uh, what she likes to call mid uh, morning tonic. So, pretty simple, just, uh, just an apple. And I think we might actually use two because these apples are pretty small. There's certain fruits and stuff that you uh, have to uh, peel before you uh, put it in there. So, the grapefruit is one of, them. one of the, actually all the citrus except for lemon and lime. You have to peel. Uh, technically, you're supposed to uh, get rid of the seeds and apples. But these are really tiny, and I'm kind of lazy and put some time. So, obviously since this is a lot bigger than this, I might have to, uh, since uh, citrus fruits are really nice like that, you can just cut them little bits and shove them in there like that. So, that's what I'm going to do. So, so we got the uh, two little things, of grapefruit and two apples. Stickers on them or nothing, so let's fire this bad boy.
it's probably best to cut these into eights. much juice. It's not a lot. But quick little try. It's actually pretty frothy. Surprised. Ooh wow. Alright, put a little taste. Oh. That is amazing. Alright. Oh yeah. I could definitely get used to this. That's just apple and grapefruit. Of course it's going to be good. So, let's try something. Uh, a little more complex. Let's put some greens in the mix. Alright, let's get... Well, even though it's not green, let's get some uh, carrots. And apparently this is the secret ingredient to all juice fasts. Mm, it's called kale. And it's basically like a, an odd cabbage. Or dealio. And I know ideally I want to get like whole organic kale, but this is as close as I can get for now. So later on it'll be a uh, better quality, but hey, this is what I can do for now. Oddly enough, it doesn't have a smell at all. So, good. Just a little nibble. Doesn't taste like anything. A little green, but very, very mild. I'm kind of glad. I thought it was gonna be a really, uh, really heavy thing. So let's crank this thing up again.
get this in with the poor lighting but look look at all that fruit pulp that's crazy juices aren't quite mixed up and there's a lot of green in there from the kale so you got grapefruit juice and apple juice from before the kale and then the recent grapefruit juice so we'll just uh, mix it up real quick with a knife Ugh. not exactly the most appetizing looking thing but uh, hopefully it tastes better maybe that extra little grapefruit will uh, improve it okay Definitely smell the green now. <laughs> mm. Okay, that's yeah. Not quite as sweet as it was before because of the extra carrots and the kale, but uh, it's still pretty tolerable, and it actually has a, a little bit of pulp still left in there from uh, I'm assuming the grapefruit. really frothy but other than that it's it's really good so uh, yeah I'm, I'm honestly surprised I, I think that this is 
this juicing thing is a real, uh, real big possibility for me. So, yeah. All right. Well, now that's all done. <laughs> Yeah, um, so hope you guys enjoyed my uh, not so quick unboxing of my Juice Man juicer, as well as the demonstration of a couple very quick and easy juices. So, yeah, this is the Andy Son signing off for now. Thanking you guys for tuning in to uh, my demo and everything. And also, I gotta thank you guys for rating, commenting, subscribing, sending a few friends to the party. And if you have a juice recipe or whatever, feel free to leave it in the comments. Or if it's kind of long, feel free to send me it in a message via YouTube. And as always, we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.